Hello everybody, this is Backblast. Here I am again on Planet Zoo. We're building our Pangea Zoo today. And you can see there's another area here that leads onto the water that we're going to be using to create an African buffalo area. Now what I'm going to do is, although it looks a bit like a speed build, I'm going to be talking all the way through it and explaining what I'm doing. And uh, I'll just be trying to tell you my thought process as we go along. So I'm building a platform out here. It's going to be a building eventually that's sort of clinging onto the rock where you can get a good overview of the whole of the enclosure but also of uh, parts of the, the rest of the park. At the end of the build there'll also be a tunnel that comes out of the back of this building and goes through the rock because on the other side of that rock wall there's going to be a different area. So at the moment we're building in the African area and hence the African type music and the African animals and, and uh, various bits of uh, scenery and foliage all African themed on this side. So I'm just getting an idea of the building I'm just trying to marry up where the building's going compared to the path. I used the, uh, the path template to make nice square paths there So although I've not gone with um, the older African, you know, the, the mud hut type look with this, I've gone for a, a modern look. Uh, I wanted it to be in wood. I, I didn't want it to look as though it was a, a modern building material like a, a plastic or a, a metal or anything like that. I wanted it very much to be an organic type of building, something that um, would have been built from materials that you could find around the area. And I think overall the, the themes worked out quite well. When you see the inside of the building at the end, it, it does have a, a kind of, uh, not, not necessarily a, a massive African feel, but it, you've got the, the impression of, of where the buildings come from. So it, it really sort of fits in with the, the whole ethos of being in an African zone. So I've built the, the walls um, that, that go underneath the path. Um, I actually put a, a flooring underneath the, the walkway as well so that later on when we build some stilts for it to go on they've got something to sit on. Ah, there you go, I didn't realise I'd uh, I kept this bit in the video but there it is, uh, me putting the flooring in. There are some bits I've cut out. Um, I've cut out a lot of um, the actual building of the enclosure so that I've done all the walls of, and I've done all the rock work and plants on the outside of it but on the inside of the enclosure where the animals wander around that's not in the video I, I thought there's nothing particularly spectacular about what I've done there so I've, I've cut out little bits of video that, that really I didn't think were necessary um, this um, this is the building the stilts we wanted some sort of platform for it to be held up we don't want it collapsing into the water, do we? So I've, I've decided to go with these um, angled beams. These are uh, girders, I think they're called in the in the game. And once I've got one in that I'm happy with, I can copy that across and then maybe put a few more in. I wanted uh, an eye bar here, a little eye beam, uh, something that these others um, are welded to or a bolted to. And now I'm just uh, copying them across. And when I'm happy with them and they're lined up, then I can use that as a, a little template, copy that across and uh, just copy it all the way down. So we get them all the way down the building. So the, the basement's done now, the bottom bit's done, uh, we now want to put some walls in. So again I'm going with a, a wooden type theme, sticking with this uh, modern uh, vertical wood. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use this and some glass to fill out the rest of the building. A few windows in this corridor before you get into the main bit of the building. And then some larger windows here so you can see out. Um, I decided not to use the wooden frames. I think we'd, we'd go with glass eventually. Although not this glass because this isn't in the final build. We decided to get rid of it. This is one of the builds. I hadn't really planned anything out. So what you're seeing is 
me just playing around with a few things and I'll put something in and think, nah, yeah, I don't like how that looks or yeah, that looks okay. And, and I'm just sort of messing about as we go along. Uh, one of the things I do like uh, within the game or, or when I'm building things is I like to have null barriers. I don't like to see a horrible brick wall like that one on the left that, that uh, the elephant enclosure has. That brick wall will be disappearing um, because it will be more organic eventually as this build is going to be. So um, the idea of having null walls or having no actual physical wall means that I then have to build a barrier out of the natural environment. So things like the rocks and, and plants, and we'll be coming back to that in a little bit. I'll show you more about building that enclosure. Um, but as I said, I'm not doing the plants inside. One of the things I've been doing recently is putting um, rocks in the water a lot more. I've been using the water a lot deeper than I used to, and I think it comes up with a nice effect really deep water and then put rocks in the bottom and it, it comes up with a really really good effect again we'll see more of that a little bit later um, you can get a glimpse of it on the left in the elephant enclosure there where the rocks are I, I think it just adds to it a little bit now this was a lovely touch this is um, I think this is probably my favorite bit of the build I've got one other bit that I really like and I'm really pleased with um, but this barrier here so again, it's a null barrier. We haven't got a wall here. There's no actual physical fence. Um, and as you can see, the null barrier is actually behind these planks or beams. These are beams, aren't they? They're painted beams or unpainted beams or I don't know what they are, but they're beams of some sort. Uh, and actually, the buffalo can't get through this barrier. I think it makes a really, really good effect. Um, it keeps the water uh, flow there and also it means that if you're looking and there's another enclosure on the other side of it you'd be able to see into that enclosure to just make sure that the null barrier is on the correct side of it there you go that looks good and there you can see the rocks underwater and uh, now we cut away <laughs> you have to be quick in this game don't you um i wanted the outside to have a little decoration on it i didn't want to go mad on it i didn't want to have loads um but I just thought it needed something to sort of break up the wood on the front. These are um, part of the Australian DLC, I think. They're, um, they're actually lights. And they don't, uh, they don't emit a lot of light at night. They, they do a little bit, but not a massive amount. But I think the effect looks quite nice, especially when we get the top bit on. Um, I, I did these and I thought they looked like eyes. I thought, oh, do we, do we actually make them into eyes? Uh, no. <laughs> I just went with the pattern. I thought, uh, no, we're not putting eyes on there. But you can see the overall effect of those, and it just needs something in the middle. We're going to go with these wooden uh, painted blocks here. Uh, yeah, I toyed with putting something else on there, but afterwards I looked at it, I thought, yeah, no, that's fine. It, it breaks up the wood. That's all we need. Now, the, the little house that the animals have, um, I wanted it to be part of this building. So I wanted it to look like it was all the same building. So the same building material on the outside, the same roof type. Although we're going to go with a, a, a funny little pattern with steeper roofs and a little gable in the middle but I wanted it all to look the same so that the animal house actually looks like the keepers huts that are next to it and now we just need to uh, fill in the bit where the door is so as you can see there are actually no barriers in any of this enclosure and that's something that I like I don't like to see the barriers I like it to be a kind of open vista or, or certainly themed to the area with hence the rocks and the plant work so this is where the animals will have their bedding so this is what i was talking about with the the plants and rock work um, there are a couple of bits with glass in them for people to look through um, in between these large rocks um, like that drag those over but the rest are plants it's important to check that the plants that you're using are plants that the animals will like 
because if you put in some elm trees or oak trees and then you put the animals in the enclosure the animals are going to go well I don't like elm and oak trees they're not part of my natural habitat and um, so it's important to understand what the animals like before you build these barriers I thought these uh, these beams look pretty good on the glass I'm just going to copy these down so it looks like it's a frame but it just sort of makes that look quite natural and we're going to do the same for these two so all the bits around the outside need uh, filling in uh, with either rocks or plants as I said I'm not going to dwell too much on the the inside of the enclosure but I thought it'd be interesting for you to see a little bit of this and how I go about it I tend to try and use at least two different types of rock I think the change in color is interesting and sometimes I'll actually get two rocks and merge them together so you've got a kind of uh, marbling effect with the rocks as well which I quite like there you can see the tunnel going through the rock work I uh, put that in off camera and we've lined it with the wood from the building so it, it, it's a continuation of this theme and now we're going to look at the roof and um, we've got this little entrance corridor coming in which isn't actually going to have that much in it but the actual area within the building is going to have a couple of things for people to look at as well as being able to look out of the windows or just use it as a transition into the next zone on the other side of the rockwork so for the roof I've gone with a combination of the glass panels the modern glass panels and I think this is actually metal panel I'm not 100% sure if it's metal or wood uh, but I liked it because it looks like wooden planks now at the moment it's a, a grey colour um, which I changed to a brighter reddish colour um, and then I don't think I've done it on video again later on I've changed it to a brown so it does actually look like wooden planks by the end of the build but I'm not convinced that I've actually put that on video. Uh, we're just going to fill the sides in with glass now. And um, it's just a matter of finding the right pieces to fit. And then I'm going to put some wooden panelling in between the back of the building and the rock wall. So that you can't see the rock wall poking through. So I mentioned there were two bits of this build that I really liked. I like the way that they turned out. This is the second bit. So the first bit was those um, wooden beams that blocked the back of the waterway. This is the second bit. I, I really like the way this worked out. All I'm doing is these are thin, unpainted planks. So we're just going to uh, level them up so that they're in the middle. And then once I've put them in the middle, I'm actually going to give them the same profile as the glass roof. So it's not going to be a flat panel like that. I'm going to either raise them or lower them individually and turn them so that they match the curvature of the glass panels. And as I said, this is this is one of my favourite bits that I when I've built it and look back and I think, yeah, I like that bit. That's a good thing. I'll use that on other buildings or or other enclosures. Yeah, that's that's the way it looks when it's finished. It's quite nice, isn't it? Copy it down and save it as a blueprint always save them as blueprints if you build something and you like it save it I'll be coming back to that later because there's some fencing that I use and a gate so uh, inside the building I decided I wanted a couple of things in here for people to look at so I've actually taken a bit of the walkway out and I'm making a little dropped down enclosure we're gonna put some mulch in there and then we're going to fill it with a few of the rocks and plants and again I've tried to stick with the same sort of plants that you find in the whole of the African area not necessarily in the, the, the buffalo enclosure uh, but just in, in the African area in general a little mulch in the bottom there to make it look as though the plants are sat in soil and in the end I think there is only one plant in there uh, the building does have more plants in it but not in this particular area just a few rocks so it doesn't look as though it's a big square box 
and a lovely palm that doesn't go through the roof, which is fantastic, but looks quite nice sat there with its light. Uh, and I also put a beam across here. I, I just thought that that bit of plastic sticking out from the roof didn't look that great. So uh, the beam here uh, that I copy across just makes it look a little bit more organic. It makes it look like it's part of the window frame. It's one of those tiny details. If you, if you came and walked through the building, you'd never notice it. But there you go. You can see I've put a few other things on the wall. There's some ivy there and a few other decorations. And what I'm building now is very interesting. I, I like this. Um, I've got a little platform that I want to put something on. But I don't want people walking through it. There is pathway underneath that platform. People will just walk through that. What you can use is rubbish bins or litter bins, whichever way you want to call them, but bins. And if you put them into a... A building or a piece of uh, scenery they won't walk through it so people walk round the bins so I've used them there and it actually creates a nice little effect with it looks like it's a kind of wooden paneling but it'll just mean people walk around it rather than through it which is fantastic and I wanted a fence as well I didn't want something that was too obtrusive I, I didn't want it to be a massive fence I just wanted something that that would tell people don't touch the lion <laughs> don't touch the thing on the platform just stay away those are uh, little taps that I've used and sunken them down tried to hide the host pipe that's attached to it when you find out you haven't lined it all up correctly you have to just readjust everything you can glimpse the ivy on the back wall there there's also a wisteria further down get a glimpse of it there now um, this is something that I've come across quite a lot people on the internet saying things like oh I quite I make quite square and blocky enclosures uh, you know how do I stop them looking so square and I've tried to say put things in between the different enclosures so instead of building an enclosure and then putting another one right next to it and then another one right next to it you will end up with squarish enclosures like that try and put areas in between that are triangle shapes or circular shapes and you'll find then that you're tending to make your enclosures a little bit more organically as well so I've got this lovely little area there at the front that the people can see. This area is more of a backstage. I needed a generator down here. There is one in the building, but for some reason they never fix it. But I've got this lovely uh, generator outline here. I'm get rid of that. Um, and I, I do like that. It's something that I've built. It's, um, it's a scratch-built piece. It's not in-game. I, I made that. Um, and it, it's just reflective of a a diesel generator that you might find in a, a workplace or uh, quite a lot of them are on tops of buildings for when the power goes out and they need a, an emergency power supply. It's actually based on a model. I used to work for a company that made diesel generators and it's based on a model that they used to make. Now I mentioned earlier about uh, saving things as blueprints so if you make something and you like it, save it as a blueprint. There's a great example here. The gate, this fencing, and the diesel generator are all things I've made in the past and thought, oh, I really like that. That looks like a metal fence. It's actually made out of uh, thin wooden painted pieces to look as though it's a, a metal fence. The gate's just made out of thin painted pieces again, and the diesel generator's made out of lots of things. Um, I could do a video on making one of those if you liked, but let me know in the comments if you're interested. If not, I can just save that one on the workshop. It's not there at the moment, but let me know if you want to. It just fits over a normal diesel generator quite nicely, and um, it, 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 looks, it looks the part. Obviously, the, the mechanics can get to it to fix it, um, and it, but it just looks good. So this is it. This is a finished enclosure. 
uh, with animals in. I wanted a lot of buffalo in. I wanted it to look like a proper herd. And as I said, I haven't really gone through the placing of the rocks and plants inside the enclosure. There's a few trees in there. And this is it with the diesel generator, the little area that breaks up the two different locations. You've got a whole view there of the enclosure and the building sat on the rockwork at the back. You can see the glass panels where you look through as well into the enclosure. And you can see how it fits in with the rest of the zoo. It looks really, really nice. Now if we go into the building, we're going to get a view of uh, the lion and maybe a few other bits. I've put in uh, the information panels and things that, that people might need and there's a few lights in there as well for when it gets dark and that's it looking at that's it um, I hope you've uh, enjoyed the build um, if you have let me know uh, let me know if you like uh, me talking over them or whether you like just a speed build uh, but I think it looks quite nice um, I hope you join me for the next one my name's Backblast I'll catch you next time